Hey everybody, I'm on my daily walk. I just wanted to do a little vlog, a little update, because I haven't done one in quite a long time and I feel very, very different. And things are really um, ramping up for me and a lot of things are shifting and changing and moving and I just feel very different and I've sort of, um, shied away from doing any vlogs um, where I'm kind of talking about myself recently just because I've been very internal about all of it and I've been more quiet recently um, you might not notice it from <laughs> social media because I post a lot of pictures and such but um, I'm feeling very um, in the midst of change right now and I think I'm just anticipating so much happening in the next year and um, going forward not just with this documentary that is going to be taking place soon but um, just my own self and um, I am trying to be very organic um, in how I'm presenting myself and so and also I need to sometimes take the time that I need to um, go through my own stuff and then I can talk about it later um, but I've said a few times um, you know uh, the n number of things that sort of uh, took place in my life in the last couple of years and really sent me on quite a journey uh, of healing and awakening and um, mastering myself and my emotions and how to create a reality that is pleasing to me <laughs> and um, I'm starting to feel for the first time in a long time that I've gotten to a place in which I can imagine myself feeling peaceful, feeling grounded, feeling centered, feeling independent, feeling free. And am I there 100%? No. No, not at all. <laughs> if I was, I would be doing much more than I am right now, but I can say that I'm feeling that I'm priming that space. And it's so exciting, and it's so... <sighs> it's just very exciting, because I know that I have so much to do in the world, and I have so much to give, and I have so much to teach, and I have so much to learn, and I have so much to learn from so many different people, and experiences in life, and cultures, and I know that I'm meant to be traveling around the world, and yet it's the scariest thing to me. Um, but I'm taking little steps in that direction, and I'm taking um, the time to find courage and to find wisdom in the experience of emotions that are maybe not as fun to experience. <laughs> And the beauty in this journey that I'm going through right now, and I have been going through for a while, is that I have so much to share about emotions and the amazing um, contrast of feeling so spiritually aware and grounded and in a state of oneness, and then going to the very most human, most vulnerable, most broken part of you or what you feel is broken and 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 finding a teaching and an empowerment and a wisdom and a um, just deep sense of purpose in that you know and I, I I'm noticing that I'm really starting to come out on the other end of that um, Am I putting a time limit on this? No, I'm not. I'm really trying not to do that, but I'm, I'm just, I'm stripping myself down and I'm starting to see who I really am and 
there's still pieces of that that scare me a lot. Um, but the excitement of, of learning and feeling free within myself is so strong that I, I think that, you know, I'm very much strong enough to, to do it and to um, really get to that, like, raw, untouched place. And it's funny because I thought that I was there a long time ago. I thought, I, I got this. I got this. I get myself. I understand myself. I've learned so much about myself and then I stripped some of that down and I found more and then I found more and then I found more and now I just feel like so many things I have stripped down and I've just become so much simpler within myself and um, even just yesterday I was thinking, you know, I should do like a 30 day no makeup challenge and see how that feels. It's just another, another, um, another way of stripping myself down and just being able to feel what it feels like just to be me, to be in my skin, to be in my body, to be in my own energy, just completely raw and unfiltered and I thought oh, I should do that and at the same time I'm also like I, I also just went vegan and um, I realized this is what my body wants this is um, you know this is what I need right now and I'm, and I'm I think that has a lot to do with how clear and how pure I'm feeling right now and then I'm taking my daily walks out here which is just <laughs> absolutely amazing and I feel um, like I've, I've just entered a whole new reality, a whole new um, place when I come on my, my morning walks here and I'm just so lucky to have this around me, like right in my backyard and um, I take my barefoot walks every morning and it's really just, it's so, so cleansing to me and so grounding and it always gives me so much clarity and so much uh, rejuvenated purpose and um, gosh I just I feel very inspired right now because um, you know I've taken a few steps in that direction of, of letting go of my fear and not even letting go of it like I'm done with you but but stepping in the direction of feeling that there's there's another reality there's something more and I can live in freedom. And you know, my, my tagline for my website and my brand is unveil your soul, live free. And it's funny because as I picked that, as we as we chose that, my mom and I, it became my transformation, it became my awakening as well. So there's nothing that we've ever mastered, you know? There's always a deepening of every experience and I'm, I'm really finding that to be true for myself and um, you know in this in this last year I've, I've taken some steps in that direction I I, um, I went to to go and see my friend um, Ragini in Milwaukee three times this year and um, she does kirtan and it's just an amazing thing for me. I, I've just I found so much joy in that community and and healing and um, purpose. It, it kind of awakened a lot within me of just um, how much I am capable of, how much I um, can give and offer, and to be in that place of receiving too was was so powerful. And um, this last trip that I took, which was um, last week, I went with my dad and um, it was so fun. And then the next day I ended up doing a event in the area. And that was my first um, event that I had done outside of Minnesota. And it was really, really beautiful. And I just felt like so welcomed and I felt this real feeling that I'm meant to be doing this. I'm, I'm meant to be doing so much more around the world and I, it's just about 
moving in that direction and all of a sudden it, it the world opens up and people people are there for you people are supporting you people are um, bringing inspiration and and you know it was it was amazing to feel that and to, to feel supported as I as I stepped in that direction out of fear and and um, to have people show up to see me and to, to meet new people and um, and to have people you know buy my book and then um, you know it's just like the abundance just flowed right in as I stepped into that space and and um, it was it was my it was my action to move in the direction of what I know to be true which is that I am not limited by my mind I'm not limited by my fear I'm not limited by my my idea of, of who I think I am attached to this fear and this limitation Wow yeah right I know I just blew my own mind I do this all the time see this is what's so powerful about when I go on my walks is I, I think about all this stuff and it just it gets me uh, gets me ramped up and um, so I'm really feeling that and I've made so many amazing connections in this last year and so much more to come and I'm just I'm so so excited to see see what happens and um, I'm going to be joining Kevin Moore on a, um, a network that he's that he's um, starting up, which is going to be a platform where I'm going to be giving I'm going to be giving private channeled readings, and that's just gonna that's that's you know I'm really excited for that too because it's going to be an, another avenue where I can really open myself up and give more and receive more at the same time. And I've been waiting so long for an opportunity to really live my passion and, get, and gain abundance at the same time and not settle for, you know, something that I don't want to do just to get money and just to, uh, you know, feel some sort of purpose in my life. And so it's taken some patience on my part, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling good now and I'm feeling like it's starting to come together and then of course you know this fall um, I'm hoping that we're gonna start working on this documentary and um, which by the way I, I have uh, a link in the description what that's about but there was a movie um, that came out in 2008 called Tuning In and it was about channeling, and it was the first of its kind of that nature. Um, and it was, you know, it was pretty, pretty big thing. And um, this is the sequel to that, to that movie. And I'm going to be one of the featured channels on that, on that movie. And oh man, like what, what a blessing for me, honestly, because um, you know, I remember, I remember. <laughs> Uh, when the first one came out and I watched it with my mom and, and I remember her saying this was shortly after I started receiving messages myself and she said you know you could be one of those people on that movie you could be one of those you know your messages are are just like that and just as profound as all of these these people that have been doing it much longer and um, you know I thought yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I think I think you're right about that. And and now, just not many years later, and that's become a reality. Um, so it's it's very exciting. And um, what's what's also exciting is being surrounded by so many amazing people that um, that I have looked up to and that have inspired me so deeply. And um, Akiana Kramerik too. She's been somebody that I've I've really connected with for a long time, and um, and um, I'll link her channel below as well. But she she produces art, and um, she's incredible, and we're so similar in so many ways. So I'm really really excited to um, get to hopefully meet her one day, or at least 
be next to her on this documentary because I think she's just incredible. And um, yeah, there's just so there's so much exciting things happening right now. Um, and uh, I just wanted to share some of that and share uh, how my energy is right now because I'm feeling um, very, very good and very inspired and very um, in the flow and in, in movement in, in the best way. And um, I just wanted to share that because I, I have this um, perspective that we should share ourselves as we're gr growing and transforming and not just when we feel like we have uh, surpassed something or we have reached a goal, but as we're, as we're moving there so that we can look back and we can remember, you know, that, that point of transition and growth and, and be proud of ourselves for that. Um, yeah, and uh, just want to thank all of my friends for being amazing. I know that I have attracted all of these amazing people in my life, but, um, but you know, what's magical is, is being able to uh, be able to receive and give at the same time and really feel that um, mutually beneficial, you know, relationship with people. And, and I've, I've always been seeking deep connections in my life and I've, you know, a lot of my life I, I haven't really found those. And um, so it's amazing to feel that happening now and to really um, experience the joy of that. And so thank you everybody for being amazing. So there's so much more coming, but I just wanted to share that. Um, I know this was a bit lengthy, but I think it was worth it. And um, I'm sure you can enjoy the um, peaceful nature sounds happening right now, the birdies and the green that has popped up. It's just so great. So thank you so much for watching this and remember to stay tuned. I'm still doing these energy updates and you can join me on my Facebook page. It's happening every week. And um, that's a great way to stay in tune with, you know, what's happening and to get some guidance along the way and, and um, inspiration along the way in your week uh, so that you can be the best version of yourself that you can be. Not that you're not already perfect because I'm sure you are. Um, we all are perfect in this moment and we're all in the perfect place at this moment, but it's just to help us um, feel more in the flow and more grounded and more in our purpose and more empowered and more beautiful. So um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So I will talk to you guys later and also check out my social media pages, my Instagram and, um, and that's the big one, I guess. Um, but I post some fun stuff on there. So talk to you later.